Cafe Software presents training, secrets, tutorials, and tips. Previously, we talked about buying and installing hardware in bulk lots. Now we're going to talk about software. There are lots of different types of software you need to install on all of your computers before you can leave them to general public to access. Unless you want to fix them all the time and constantly pay them maintenance costs, I suggest you listen very carefully to the list of programs you will need to install on all of your computers. You will need to do the following in your computers periodically. Number one, clean your computers and install upgrades and updates from the operating systems and software installed on all your computers. Number two, maintain security in your network and on your computers. Number three, back up your computer software. Number four, back up your computer's data. Number five, check and run diagnostics on your computer's hardware. Number six, maintaining the network connections. Number seven, maintain your printers and paper. Number eight, check that all the necessary software is running smoothly on your computers. I bet you're thinking to yourself right now, how in the world am I going to do all that on 20 computers that I have in my internet cafe? This must be very hard and requires a lot of manpower to do. Well, never fear, because with a little bit of automation and some software I'm going to tell you about, most of this stuff will be done automatically for you on a scheduled basis. For example, you can schedule backups to run at night every day on all of your computers and backup all the required data to a single hard disk or remote workstation. After it's scheduled and working, you don't need to participate anymore. The backups will be done automatically. In some cases, you can even schedule full backups to run once a week and incremental backups to run every day. This way, you save a lot of disk space and the time the backup will take. You can orient it any way you want and make sure it does whatever makes sense for your business. For example, in some cases, if your internet cafe is closed during the weekend, you can schedule your backups to run on Sunday night. Otherwise, it makes more sense to schedule your backups to run on Monday morning when everybody's working and there are fewer visitors to your internet cafe. Of course, each business is different, and I will provide some samples, and you'll also be able to customize any one of them to suit your needs. The general model. Let's discuss the general model of how all your computers must be set up. I will show you which programs will do what. I will show you how to use them. I will also show you how to get them and configure them to your needs. It doesn't make sense to set up each and every single computer you have individually. The method we will use is called imaging. We'll create a single computer that we want, make sure it's running smoothly, and since you are full of my advice and bought a lot of similar or identical computers, we'll be able to back it up and create a single image and then roll this image on all 20 or 30 or whatever number of computers you might have. This is a tremendous time saver. This tip alone cuts your installation time 10 times or more. Now, let's move on to know how your computer should be set up. I would highly recommend splitting your computer's hard disk into two different partitions. You will name them, for example, partition C and D. This is convenient for a variety of reasons. Number one, you can separate all your applications into disk C and all your data into disk D. Number two, you can do a separate backup of only data and only applications. Number three, anytime you need to add more applications to all of your computers, you can add them to one and then simply copy your image data to all 20 computers again, same as when you did it initially. It will only copy applications and will not touch the data. Number four, same is true for your data, which you can back up and copy separately. Number five, if the application on your computer starts behaving badly, you can just restore your image without harming your data, which is on a separate disk. Number six, you can back up your applications only once, and since there are always the same on all of your computers, you do not need to worry about backing up the entire computer all the time. This allows you a lot of saving in disk space and backup time. As you can see, there are benefits to using two disks as opposed to just using one disk. Splitting your hard disk into two 
of different partitions is very easy. You can get software to do just that. It is best to split it before you set up your windows. This way, you can just use built-in partition manager that comes with Windows. If it was already set up and partitioned before, you can use one of these free programs to resize existing partition. Number one, Rainish Partition Manager. Number two, Zelps Partition Resizer. And number three, Qt Partition Manager. You will only need to do this once in your life, so I say, why pay money to buy a commercial partition manager? Now, let's see what types of software you will need to install and your computer. Number one, an operating system, of course. Sometimes if you buy used computers that come from brand names such as Dell or IBM, date to a com with OEM version of Windows installed in them. So you might as well use that. Otherwise, you have to buy a copy of Windows for each computer. Number two, an antivirus solution to protect your computer from viruses and malware. Number three, a spyware protection suit. Number four, it is also good to have a firewall installed and configured. Number five, a good backup solution for your data. Number six, an image backup software to create and restore images from your DVD. Number seven, an office solution for reading and writing your documents, spreadsheets, and sending and receiving your emails. Number eight, I am software like Skype, ICQ, and other software for making phone calls that supports SIP protocol. Installing and configuring. Let me give you the sources for software, including the links you will need to download it. However, from my experience, sometimes links can expire, so I will also include the name of the software and the company that produces it, just so you will be able to find it easily if the link is inactive. I'm going to skip over an operating system because this choice is up to you completely. Antivirus Solution I have been extremely successful with using AVG Antivirus. They have multiple versions of the software, and they also have a completely free version that you can find at this location. They heavily promote their paid package, but from my experience using the free version is just as good. It is just an antivirus, without all those fancy gimmicks and internet filters, which is exactly what you need. Anti-spyware solution. To prevent and remove any spyware from your computer, it is always good to have an anti-spyware solution installed on your PC. Here is that link. But keep in mind that they are constantly changing. The name is AdAware, and the company name is Lavasoft. That's how you'll be able to find it later. Firewall Solution A firewall is another good solution for your PC. With all the other software and hardware installed, you almost never need it. Let me explain why. You already have triple protection. First of all, you have protection from your router already. Your network router is configured to use NAT, Network Address Translation. This is a method where each internal IP address is replaced with external IP address by the router. This way, even if the external connection to your network is generated from some other point, it has no way to enter your network unless one of your computers has originated the request. So your router already acts as a sort of firewall by design. In addition to that, any virus that you might get through email or through external connection is filtered by your antivirus automatically. Even if by some odd chance there's a spyware on your computer, add aware will blow it to the sky. As if that's not enough, you'll also have protection of your image, meaning your entire good, clean configuration is backed up and ready to go on your DVD. So, in a very unlikely event that something bad does happen to your PC, you can store everything fresh as it was the moment you installed it in 10 minutes flat. So, if you simply enable the built-in Windows firewall without even configuring it much, it should be good enough to protect your computer. Built-in Windows firewall will protect you enough for all those odd cases where one of your computers might get a virus or somebody screws with it intentionally trying to bypass your protection. I know there are hundreds if not thousands of different types of commercial firewalls available on the market now, but most of those are just expensive ways of wasting money on the software you don't need. Large paid antivirus suits bundle the firewall to the solution because they cannot sell it separately. And there's a good reason for that. Backup solution. Now, I'm going to surprise you with a backup solution. Actually, not a lot of people know this, but there's a backup solution hidden in your Windows. It was there since Windows XP and is definitely present in a later version and has evolved considerably. 
I suggest you use this Windows Backup to back up all your data on the disk D. That's where your data is located. For your programs, I recommend a different solution. This is where you will be doing your imaging backing up. The difference between those is you only need to do an image once for all your computers, and it's going to be the same for each and every one of them. Data backup, however, may be different for each computer, and that is why it's a good idea to separate the disk into two partitions. To find your backup software, simply type Backup and Restore in New Windows Search Box. Once you run this program, it is very easy to set up a manual backup of your disk D. You can even schedule a backup to go into a DVD, or you can create a network shared drive on your server. Then you can just choose that during the backup. Then you can take that backup from all your computers and burn it to a DVD. It's not going to be very large because you will not have a lot of data on your computers, so all of your computer's data should definitely fit into one DVD. Image Backup Disk imaging software is intended to copy your entire disk, in our case it is a logical disk partition C, to another disk, DVD, flash drive, network drive, or something else. It usually copies your disk as it is, with all the settings, drivers, and absolutely everything you have on that disk. That's why it's so good for you, because when you restore it, it's as if you just installed everything fresh, all the drivers are working, and the registry is clean. It's especially good for your internet cafe, because you never know what people are going to work on your computers, so you don't need to worry about accidentally erasing anything that they might save on your disk C. There are different types of imaging software. Some can restore image only from a hard disk or a DVD, while others can do a bare metal restriction over the network. Do not go running scared right now from all the terminology right now. Bare metal restoration is just a fancy geeky term for loading your image file from the server over the network. It presumes you have a machine without a DVD or flash drive, which is just what the term bare metal is. If you are a bit more tech savvy, you can use a program called Clonezilla. It is a bit more tech oriented, but it's free and allows you to do over the network backups and restores. If you didn't understand a bit of what I just said, simply use this program, Macrium Reflect Free Edition. Office Solution You're probably thinking I'm going to tell you to install Microsoft Office. If you get the money, it might be a good idea, but generally speaking, Microsoft Office is not the only Office solution out there. For your internet cafe and needs, it is enough to install OpenOffice Tool Suite from here. It has a copy of every application that Microsoft Office has, and it supports all the different Microsoft Office formats, so it will read and write your Word documents. Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, and even access databases. It is actually very popular and cross-platform software. And the best thing is it's free. You can download and install it as many times as you want without paying a dime. Instant messaging software. Last but not least is your messaging software. Since all of those packages are free anyway, you might as well install all of them because you never know who uses which one. Here's a short list with links. Number one. Skype, number two, ICQ, number three, Google Talk, number four, Yahoo Messenger, number five, MSN Messenger, and number six, Counterpath XLite. Note, this is free software that allow you to support SIP protocol for voice over IP phone calling. Conclusion. Now I have given you a full list of software that you will need to install in your internet cafe. All of it is free, except the operating system, which can also be free if you can buy computers with pre-installed OEM Windows. Your action items for this section will be, number one, go download and try and install the software. Number two, take it for a spin and experiment with it. Number three, build an image of your dream installation. P.S. Please take my action items seriously. If you want to make money using your internet cafe, you must learn the main principle of any business. Goya, meaning get off your ass. You must be ready and willing to take action now, instead of just sit and look for obstacles and why not reasons, because you will find plenty and you will not succeed. If you are not one of the serious people who take action, or you do not want to follow the action items I outlined, please just unsubscribe from my list because it will not help you. I only want to help serious people who are active and who will take action. I know it's you, I'm sure of it. So get out there right now and start implementing it.
get more information, visit our website at cafesoftware.co now.